Hi, all signs. So now I need to leave that up. Okay, this is Harry Escobar, formerly Baby Boss Taro. Uh, people have been asking me what the hell does Harry Escobar mean. It is an amalgamation of my placements. Okay, I'm an Aries Taurus cusp and Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising, but also have three Libra placements. So, Aries, go Bra. Aries, Aries Taurus, go Virgo, Bra, Libra. There you go. Right, okay. It's <laughs> enough of that fucking nonsense, innit? Okay, a little bit dooly out at the moment because um, there is a storm about. And um, I track lightning, not nobody's fucking business, so I'm kind of staying in the kitchen doing my duty. Anyway, let's find out what's the tea, all signs. So, what do you need to know today? Alright, start with Aries. Okay, Aries, what's the tea? What do you need to know, babies? Aries. Okay, Aries, you've got a false twin around you right now. This person is hooked, so addicted to someone or something. So this false twin could be hooked on you. Okay, they're regretting something, so, or, you know, someone around you is in regret. So someone regrets what they did to you, how they treated you, how they contributed to the mess. Okay, and then you got balling. Uh, okay, so having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting to have, wanting and having the most expensive things in life. So at the moment, someone is just flaunting their money away. Okay, this could be your false twin, someone who's in a lot of regret right now, who's just bawling. They're just spending all of their money because they can't get to you. They're hooked on you. They can't get to you. They're regretful about it. They're sad. They're like, boo hoo hoo and all of that shit. So what are they doing? They're acting as if. Acting as if. Now, let's find out who is this. I'm just going to get a couple of tarot cards to find out uh, who is this. Who is this for Aries? Only major arcanas I'm taking. Who is this for Aries? Right, we've got the Queen of Cups. So it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone who walked away from you and then regret it. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So there you go, Aries. Alright. Okay. Taurus. I'm just going to move these cards. Hang on, guys. I'm going to move them. For there. Okay, Taurus, what's the tea? What's the tea for Taurus? What's the tea for Taurus? I'm only going to take the ones that fall. What's the tea for Taurus? Not big. Okay, Taurus, you've got somebody who wants to be more than just friends. This could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. You've got betrayal, so backstabbing, disloyalty, doing you wrong, betraying your trust. Okay, if you could find out that somebody has betrayed you, they've stabbed you in the back, they were disloyal. This could be a friend, co-worker, love interest, ex, whoever. Someone's acting a fool. So it's someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. A bystander. This could be that friend. So it's sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone being hurt or abused. So somebody here is watching someone else being abused, and that could be what this betrayal is. Something is happening here, whether it's to you, Taurus, or whether you're watching somebody else do it. But whoever's the person who is being abused, somebody knows that they're doing it. This could be somebody who wants to be more than just friends. Let's see what else we've got for you. 11th house. One social groups, friendships, personal affiliations, and social life. Okay, whoever you're dealing with, they only care about their social groups, their friendships. They only care about themselves, their social life. It doesn't really feel like that you're in the bloody picture. And you've got balling in the reverse. So if this person was flaunting their money, you know, going out, uh, wasting their money, trying to look good, that's in the reverse. So um, that's no longer happening for this person. Okay, but I don't like the fact that somebody's getting abused and somebody's watching it all happening, but they're not saying anything. All right, let's just get a couple of signs to see who you could be dealing with here. Who is this for Taurus? Could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They knocked down your bloody card. Okay, regret. Okay, <laughs> someone's sad and regretful. 
Could be campfire to Scorpio. Can I get one more, please, for Taurus? Or who this could be? Thank you. Water sign. Is everyone going to get water signs? Someone who um, could have treated you like an option. Someone who was confused. Yeah, you've got Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but, you know, don't just uh, fixate on... I nearly said the gender there. Don't fixate on the um, element. Fuck's sake. Right. Gemini. Okay, what's the tea for Gemini? What is the tea for Gemini? Stop throwing them on the fucking floor, Gemini. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm sorry, right, Gemini, somebody is on cloud nine, so always under the herbal influence, so someone is constantly smoking weed, right, this could be your false twin flame, but self-love, so loving yourself just the way you are, not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions, but self-care and inner beauty, that's what you need to work on, Gem, sixth house, what someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills, training, their employment or job. Okay, you'll know what that means. Got no money, no talk. I'm not surprised if all they're doing is smoking weed all day. Oh, just heard I'm selling it. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. I don't think that's you, Gemini. I think that's someone you're dealing with. Okay, not wanting to talk unless money is involved. Hustling, getting to the bag at all costs. This person is obsessed with money. And they will do anything to get money. So whether they're sitting around just smoking weed all day, selling it, whatever. But this is your false twin. All right, and you've got no limit, so nothing can stop them. Uh, continues on without restriction, going their own way. Yeah, you should probably let this person go their own fucking way, or they should let you go your own way, because this is a false twin you're dealing with. Okay. Now, so far, <laughs> when I found out who it is, everyone's getting water signs. So, who is this for Gemini? Who is this false twin for Gemini? And you're getting a water sign as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, someone's coming in offering you a cup of love. But we've also got the Magician, so Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries. <laughs> oh, sorry, but <laughs> my little one in the background, that's hysterical. Okay, so this person could be a little bit childish energy, kind of confirmed by my disabled two-year-old there. Uh, they could be trying to um, manipulate you into being theirs, but everyone's getting water signs. This person's going to offer you something, but at the moment, they're your false twin, they're high as a fucking kite, they're spending their money willy-nilly, and they only want to talk to you unless it's about money. <laughs> Sorry, his favourite cartoons on. Right, cancer. <laughs> Okay, Cancer, what's the T? What's the T for Cancer? Who's intimidated? You or them? And someone's balling. Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. But somebody's got more money than they know what to do with it. Okay, and this is intimidating somebody else, or someone feels intimidated by you. Give me a couple more for Cancer. Copying your style. So someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. You've got a copycat on your hands. Uh, what's your friends around you? If they suddenly... Say like if you go out and you buy... I must have seen this. A red car. Okay, one of you could have a red car. Okay, if your friend likes it so much, if you know, they may go out and buy a better red car. So say like if you buy a Lamborghini, they'll go out and buy a Bugatti. You know, just so... <laughs> Just so they can look a bit better than you at things. But the thing is though, Cancer, you do it naturally. This person is outrageously trying to copy everything you do. So, and uh, some, someone's intimidated by this. Alright, let's see who this could be for you. Who could this be for Cancer? Who could this be for Cancer? I think I am only going to take Major Arcana's The Moon. Could be a Pisces or another Cancer. An Empress, a Libra or Taurus. Could be your baby mother doing this or your own mum. Someone's doing this in secret. Yikes. Someone's copying you in secret. 
it could be a family member, but I'm I won't buy my signs on this, so it could be a Cancer Pisces Libra or a Taurus doing this. It could be a baby mother or your own mother doing it. Okay, alright. Let's see, what's the tea for Leo? What's the tea for Leo, please? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> If any of you got good hearing, when I said, oh shit, and I looked down at feeling trapped and caught in the act, confirmation, literally for this, was a rumble of thunder behind me. Alright, so someone's been caught in the act, Leo. Someone has been caught doing something they shouldn't. Feeling trapped, feeling like there is no way to improve the situation. Could be feeling stuck in circumstance or a relationship. So someone's feeling trapped in a relationship. And Leo, there is a narcissist around you or someone feels you are the narcissist, so... Uh, inflated sense of self-importance, a complete disregard for others' feelings, always needing attention. Controller. Okay, Leo, run. Run, run, run the fuck away, please. Run. So constantly needing control of people, things or situations. And we've got finessing. Oh, good God. Smooth talking, persuading and manoeuvring something to your advantage. I don't know who the narcissist here is, who who the controlling person is here, but someone's just got fucking caught in the act, and now they're trapped. Okay, let's see who this is. Whether this is you, Leo, or... The, oh my god, witchcraft at the bottom of the deck, I didn't see that. That was flipped over. Someone could be using magic to get their way. Yep, yeah. okay. Leo, who are you dealing with? Who's Leo dealing with? The Queen of Wands, the other woman. Could be a third party, another woman, so another Aries Leo or a Sag. I keep telling these cards, I only want major arcanas to find out who you're dealing with, and they keep throwing kings and queens at me. Or anything else, right. Major arcanas only. Who is Leo dealing with? No, I said major, oh, okay, no, no, no. No, nope, they're not giving me major arcanas for you, but you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, truth has come out about um, one hell of a betrayal. That's them getting caught. They wanted to reconcile with you. They want to come back to you because they've, they've been caught offering you a cup of blood. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, um, possibly the third party, being the women, but who knows. And you've got Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, okay. Right, Virgo, what's the tea? Speaking of tea, I need to sip mine. Alright, what's the tea for Virgo? Now, last time I did the watch the tea for all signs, Virgo, someone was trying to blackmail you since you caught them in the act. And it's weird because it was a Leo and a Gemini that got caught in the act and they were blackmailing you. And I've just done Leo's, and someone has just got caught in the act again. So, Virgo, you've got hidden agendas. So, uh, pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones that they've revealed. Okay, heartbreaker. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. And you've got someone who is quite confident. So, th this heartbreaker, someone who could be in their ego actually this person comes off as confident they know they're a heartbreaker but they've got a hidden agenda when it comes to you so pay attention to those red flags there all right so let's see who this could be for you who could this be for virgo who's this for virgo a king of wands aries leo sag Oh yeah, somebody knows what they want and they're going to get it. They're very passionate. They they sit on their throne and they're like, yeah, come to me, do things for me. Quite selfish, quite spoiled. I'm kind of feeling. But, yeah. Oh, I'm starting to lose the energy. The storm outside is actually draining me. I did these readings at the wrong time. Alright. Libra. Alright, what's the tea for Libra? What's the tea for Libra? I'm only taking droppers. What's the tea? Whoa, caught in the act. 
Leo just got caught in the act. Is there something going on between you and a Leo? You'd been caught in the act. What the fuck's going on here? Unimpressed. What's the tea for Libra? Either that, or you and a Leo caught the same person in the act of somebody else. Okay, you've got a moocher. Someone who survives off another's income. One who, even if they're... Even if they have their own money, will use somebody else's first. That's a typical narcissist tendency as well. Controller. Leo got the same shit. Libra, I think you and Leo are dealing with the same person here. Because you've got controller. Constantly needing control of people, things and situations. Toxic ways, bad habits, addictions. Can't stay away from harmful substances. Dreaming of you. Someone cannot get you off their mind. Attracted to you. Constantly thinks of being with you romantically. And then... I, th I think this is you. You're unimpressed. Doesn't care about the mundane. Too good. Uh, being too good for something. Not interested. But either way, there is connection between you and a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with the same sort of person. Okay, because you both you both got caught in the act. You both got controller. But you both got someone here who feels like a controlling fucking narcissist. So, sorry, Libra. You and Elio could be dealing with the same person. When you two find that out, I can see a whole war breaking out. Just FYI, I can see a cat fight between two women over this person who's been caught in the act. Hey, okay, Scorpio. What's the tea for Scorpio? What's the tea for Scorpio? Scorpio, you're dealing with a Gemini because that got thrown on the floor. Oh, well, where the fuck? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so truth unveiled. The truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. Somebody is confident that this won't be revealed. Okay, role model. So being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Okay, we need to get a little bit into this. What is the truth that's going to be revealed? Because someone here is, has been confident. They are. They could be a bit of a role model. Someone sees you as a role model. They see you as confident. But what is this? What truth is about to be unveiled? What was hidden? Somebody could want a reconciliation. Someone's not getting over you. That could be an inherent mode. Could be a Virgo that's doing this. Give me some more on this. Uh, what's the tea for Scorpio, please? Third party, possibly. Got the Three of Swords in the reverse. Well, not in the reverse. On the floor. Three of Swords on the floor. Libra energy. <laughs> it's raining in that picture, and obviously the storms around. So, mm. so the truth could be that someone. Someone didn't get over heartbreak. Someone didn't get over the past. They're coming out of hermit mode now. That could be the truth that's being revealed here. Somebody wants a reconciliation of a heartbreak third party situation. Okay. Right. Sagittarius. Alright, saggy bums. No disrespect. I call my mum saggy bum because she, uh, she's a Sagittarius and we always called her that growing up. I know it's rude, but she's even under my phone as saggy bums. <laughs> Alright, Sagittarius. My apologies if that offended anyone, but it, it's kind of an inside joke. Sagittarius. What do we got? Okay, got divorce. So you could be getting divorced from someone or somebody else is getting a divorce. So broken relationship, lost connection, severed ties. You could be hearing that someone's getting a divorce. And you've got a hater. So it wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success. Points out your flaws to make them feel better. Oh, bitch. That's what I want to say. Bitch. Oh, God. I hope I'm not turning into Tyler. Bless you, Tyler. <laughs> but, anyway. Uh, copying your style. So someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. So you've got a copycat on your hands. Watch out. Uh, think of um, single white female. Go watch that film. This is what someone's doing to you behind the scenes. Right. Okay. For Sagittarius, who is this? 
Judgment. Could be a second chance. If you're divorcing someone, they want a second chance. Could be another Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or a water sign. One more. You know, I don't care what sign associates this. I always see it as Sagittarius. Okay. Knight of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone coming back because they're wounded. They feel like a wounded warrior. So this could, could have been a divorce and now somebody wants to get back together with you. Boom. Capricorn. Instantly I heard run. Sally, run. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I heard run, Sally, run. I'm Jesse's girl. What the fuck? Run, Sally, run, and Jesse's girl. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. I never get um, downloads for you, Capricorn. Not. No, I never get channeled songs for you. It was weird that I got two straight away. You're a role model, Capricorn. So being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. We'll take that one. Someone's dreaming of you, so someone cannot get you off their mind. Attracted to you, constantly thinks of being with you romantically. Nice energy. What else does Cappies need to know? Okay, you got bystander. Sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone being hurt or abused. Okay, so someone is watching something happen in your life. If, if something's going on in your life and somebody knows that it's happening, they're not doing anything to help you. They're just standing by and watching it all unfold. Yikes, it got dark out there quick. Okay. We're about at ding ding round four, big brother. I mean, sorry, private joke between me and my deceased brother. <coughs> anyway. Let's get one more. Actually, no, we'll find out. Find out who this is. My energy's gone. My energy's really gone. I'm drained. Uh, Capricorn, who is this then? Who could you be dealing with? Ace of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but somebody wants a brand new beginning with you. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, there's so many distractions around. I'm sorry, I absolutely love storms, okay? Alright, my dream job out of my whole world would be to be a storm chaser, so I'm getting distracted by a storm. I love them, but I track lightning like no one's fucking business. Alright, Aquarius. Alright, Aquarius. What's the T for Aquarius? What's the T for Aquarius? Did I do Gemini? I don't think I did Gemini because I've got Gemini down here at the bottom. Oh, if I didn't, I'll, I'll do Gemini again. Okay, Aquarius. What's the T? What's the T for Aquarius? Okay, so grown. Not with the charges. Games has priority straight. Not willing to downgrade standards. You've got someone around you who is acting a fool. So it's someone who knows they are being childish and goofy. But doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. And you've got an ex-lover on your tail. Alright. Okay, so you've got an ex-lover and all of that. Okay, who is this then for you? Who is this ex-lover for Aquarius, and what the fuck do they want? I know that was rude, but I kind of felt your energy then. Like, an ex, what the fuck do they want? And I've just heard they're dead to me. Wow, Aquarius. I love your energy. Okay, this could have been a soulmate of yours, this ex. They want a reconciliation. They see you as a soulmate. They want to come back. They want to work on things. This could have been someone you worked with in the past. Be Cancer Pisces Scorpio, it's definitely your ex. Look, the six of cups. Okay, I'm hearing you could have been dealing with the Scorpio. All right, so it's here. This person wants to rekindle things with you, and that's the tea for you. All right, Pisces. All right, what's the tea for Pisces? What's the tea for Pisces? Okay. 
You're always partying and playing games. So someone around you is constantly partying and playing games, or this is you. An earth angel, someone good and pure, with honest intentions, kind-hearted, keeps it real. You're someone protecting you right now, Pisces, okay? Someone around you who is an earth angel. They're a star seed, they're a healer. You know who this person is, but then you've got someone else here who's always partying and playing games. I don't know who's got your energy, but somebody doesn't want me to talk about this. Pisces, if this is your parents, if you've got one... That's always partying and playing games. The other one is watching over you, which is being honest. They've got good intentions towards you. They've got a kind heart. Okay, if this is your parents. Alright, got eighth house. This situation involves cycles, death and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change, personal growth. If you're being pulled between two different people, Pisces, this is the problem here, okay? Someone's attitude needs to go towards change and personal growth. It could be you that's always partying and playing games, but you've got someone who is very protective of you, watching you, they're kind-hearted, they're just making sure you're okay. Alright? Okay. Who is this for Pisces? Who's the partier? Who's the one going out and partying? Who's the one going out partying? I've just been told to pick that up. My brother just told me to pick this up. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Gemini, they're going out partying a lot. You need to figure out which way you want to go with that. But there is an Earth Angel watching over you. Communication. Somebody wants to come in and talk to you. It could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. And one more, Pisces. The Devil. Okay, yeah, someone's very toxic. They've got addictions. Yeah, this is that partying. They go for temptation. Uh, please be mindful with this person. I'm hearing they've got a horrible alcohol and drug addiction, which could get worse. You're going to find out about this, and it's going to become a shock to you. Okay, Pisces. All right. Okay. All right. My apologies to Gemini's. Let's do yours. So what is the T for Gemini? What's the T for Gemini? What's the T for Gemini? What do they need to know? You got an ex lover. Okay. Alright, you've got ex-lover, one-sided love, married, you've got split personality in the reverse. So you could be dealing with someone who is married, they could be your ex-lover. Or you're married to someone and your ex lover's trying to come back even though the relationship was one-sided. But this situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, social class. And then you've got the fifth house, one's hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities what one does for entertainment but this split personality in the reverse so acting differently around you and the next person not not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people so this person has no longer got a split personality could be an ex-lover of yours either way um so what's the tea gemini you've got two different energies around you or three because you could have an ex-lover You've got someone whose love is just one-sided. It's all about them and not you. And you've got someone here who is married. Simple as, okay? Let's just clarify. Right. Clarify the ex-lover for Gemini. Clarify the ex-lover for Gemini. Do you know what? I think I've saved the best till last. Because yours is getting going to be juicy, I think. Clarify ex-lover for Gemini. Could be a cancer. Okay? Secretly wanted to come back to you. Because this one's holding a rose. All right, let's find out why is the moon here. Could be Cancer or Pisces. Why is the moon here? Hmm. It nearly came in the reverse. So this person is healing. Your ex-lover is healing. This could be an ex-lover. But they're still very passionate about you. They know what they want. And I think what they want is you, this ex-lover, who could be a Pisces or a Cancer. What is this one-sided love about? Oh, yeah, one-sided. Okay. Or somebody having their cake and eating it. It broke someone's heart, Gemini. 
It could have broken your heart. It could have broken somebody else's heart. Okay, but there's a third party here for sure. I've never said it like that before in my life, so I don't know who does. Okay, let's find out who is married. You could be married, Gemini, or someone that you're dealing with is married. Or the third party could be married. Who is the married person here? What is going on with this married person? This person has regrets. They want a new beginning. Oh, yeah. Okay, whoever is married in this situation, they're, re they're possibly regretting getting married. Uh, because now they're coming in towards you with regret and sadness. Look, they possibly want to have an ending with the person that they're married to and come towards you with this lovely cup of love. Okay, so somebody could want to get out of a relationship, come towards you. This is a marriage that could be ending. Gemini, my advice to you is please don't fuck around with a married person. No matter how much they want you, no matter how much they're begging, saying that they're miserable in their marriage, please do not fuck around with a married person. Don't be a third party. Gemini, you want... I don't actually see you doing that. You probably tell this person outright, no, I'm sorry, you're married, fuck off. But if you like that sort of thing, you're probably right, okay, just one more time, but then you've got to divorce. There is two sides to you, Gem, so go either way on that one. Okay, guys, that was your read.